No charges will be filed against the deputies involved in the subduing of a man with Down syndrome who later died in custody. A news conference on this case just wrapped up and Horace Holmes joins us from outside the Frederick County Courthouse. Horace. 17 eyewitnesses, including those three deputies, testified before the grand jury today, and the jury determined those deputies did nothing wrong. The grand jury's decision in this particular case was that they felt that no further investigation was necessary. Frederick County State's Attorney Charlie Smith this afternoon announcing findings of the grand jury investigation into the death of 26-year-old Robert Ethan Saylor. The 26-year-old died in January at a New Market movie theater. Saylor, along with a health aide, had finished seeing the movie Zero Dark Thirty. Saylor wanted to stay to watch the next showing and refused to leave when asked by theater personnel. Frederick County deputies were called and the three officers reportedly removed him from the theater and then outside placed him in handcuffs. He has never had anybody put their hands on him before in his life. Saylor's mother has been waiting for answers as to how and why her son died in police custody. An autopsy showed he died of asphyxiation brought on by his Down syndrome. The medical examiner ruled the death a homicide, but the grand jury did not find any evidence to charge the three deputies. At no point in time uh, did our investigation, our review of the file, uh, indicate that the deputies hit or kicked Mr. Saylor in any way. The three deputies each voluntarily testified before the grand jury, according to their lawyer, detailing their actions during the incident. Each of these professional, devoted law enforcement officers did what was necessary under the circumstances, and they did what their training dictated that they do. The attorney for the Sailor family told me just a short time ago that they have asked for a copy of the medical examiner's report, and after they take a look at that, they will determine whether or not they will file a civil lawsuit. Reporting live in Frederick Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.